Today I'll be showing the snacku box for September. Excited to get these always. Let me try to cut this without cutting myself. Okay, wrong direction. What? Jesus. Unbelievable. Okay, so for September... Here this is. Looks like somebody going to the big city. <laughs> for a minute there I thought it was a vacation, but it looks like they're moving to the big city or something. And here we go. I'm not going to bother reading that anymore. It's just a waste of time. Get to the point! Get to the point! Okay, so this box is overall the entire country I guess so this is about fruit or something I don't know let's start off with I guess these since I pulled it out it says black sesame caramel 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 depending on where you're from a super unique caramel made with black charcoal and black sesame don't be alarmed if your mouth turns black is completely normal and safe. You know what? No. <laughs> We're not doing that first. Okay. I don't want to turn it black. Yes! I love these. Okay, this is just extra that they gave. Thank you. These this is a it's a huge Cheeto. Tastes amazing with Didymo. Is that Didymo on it? Or just imitation Didymo? It's imitation Didymo. Okay, whatever. Who cares? And this is Variety Bites. Yes! A variety of senbai. A mixture of traditional Japanese crackers includes baby shrimp senbai, dried whiting fish, squid crackers, peanut cracker balls, seaweed senbai, and sesame crackers. I love this kind of stuff. That is my favorite Japanese snack, is senbai. Here this is. Here that is. This must be the whiting fish. Oh. Here this is. I don't know what this one is. If I knew hiragana, <laughs> I would be able to tell. Here this is. That's coffee beans or something. Beans inside the cracker. Oh, you can't even see this. Here we go. Oh, there's supposed to be dried eel in here. What the crap? Where is it? No! No dried eel? Come on! I already tried this one. I think. There's no dried eel! Do they only put one dried eel in here? They probably do. Here's that. Come on, dried eel. Oh, that was kind of sweet. Oh, look. Oh, that sucks. This body must be in here somewhere. Oh, that's sweet. Tastes good, though. Yeah, anyways, I love these. I really love these. These. I don't see the green version. What is that supposed to be? Green tea, Simbai? I don't know. I'm here for it. Okay, so this is. What is this? Ah! I saw this in the last box, in the larger box. They showed a picture at the bottom for the larger box, so. I'm happy to see that it's in this box. Komobiki Bizenya Bizenya I don't know how to say it. It's right there at the top. 
has been making snacks since 1782 in Okazaki. This is regionally popular soft sesame wafers stuffed with locally produced mochi and a bit of azuki red bean paste. Perfect with a nice cup of tea. Well, I don't have tea, but I'm here for this. What am I going to do? Okay. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Can't believe I had took that long to open it. That's so disturbing. Ooh, this is a very small fresher. What do they call these? The fresher, you know, you put these, you know, to keep it fresh. I don't know what these things are called. I forgot what they're called. That's very small. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. That's cool. Okay. And here this is. It's a wafer. I'll just break it. And there's the red bean. Oh my god, my hand has got the crackers on it. Okay. not bad. It's a mixture of red bean and mochi. So it's not like, well, it is true red bean. It's just not high in pigment. It's not bad. I wish this wafer was dry. Not a chewy form of wafer. I wish it was a hard wafer. But it tastes good. Okay, we're going to put that back in its little bag. And I shouldn't do another mochi. What should I do? Which one is this one? Mochi no omwa. Omatsuri Komachi. It's another form of mochi, I think. Don't tell me I got this all backwards. Let's open it and see, because I'm not sure what this is. Okay, this is part of the variety of uh, surprise snacks. Mm. Maybe this is the burdock crackers? No, no, no. It's this. Negi Miso Senbai. I guess. They don't explain it, but anyways. Wow, I love that. Okay, this is good. Okay. That's what's up. I love Senbai. Okay. Kabosu Nuts Sable. Mm. Okay. Kabosu Almond Lime Cookie. Seasonal almond cookies made with Japanese called Kabosu Lime from southern seaside region of Oita. Kobasu is bit more bit more tart than your typical lime and is used in place of vinegar for some Japanese dishes. Oh, God. That means it's probably similar to wasabi. Probably. Am I going to regret this? Probably. Here it is. <sighs> okay.
I'm not a lime fan. Other than lime chips. Maybe lime salsa. But I don't like key lime pie. I don't hate key lime pie. But I just prefer other flavors. So that's why I'm a little bit apprehensive about eating lime. Also, the taste stays with you. Hmm. It's not bad, it's sugary. That wasn't bad. Not bad. What else is in here? And what is this? This is one of the variety of cookies. You see it right there, so that means it's Honey Senbai. Honey Senbai. Is it? No. This can't be Honey Senbai. White chocolate. No, it's the white chocolate cookies. Sorry. Tastes good. I've had it before. It's pretty good. I'm done with that. They have up here Hokkaido melon jelly, but this one looks like the orange melon. And this one is the other version of melon, I think. It says melons in Japan come in many varieties, but the ones from Hokkaido are considered the best. The melons for this jelly come with a come from a small town called Yubari in Hokkaido, which are the most prized of them all. Enjoy these jellies chilled. Wonder should I just I should just Hmm. Here goes. Yeah, it tastes like melon. It's not like what's on the card. The card is orange. So I don't know what that is. If this is orange and this is green, I don't I don't know melons like that. I haven't had a melon, a raw melon in like forever. It's been a while. So that's there. And then the Is there something? No. That's it. It's those black candies. I'll do that last. This feels like jelly. See, it says ko koyoho grape jelly, but that's grape jelly. Obviously, this is cherry. So they gave me cherry instead of grape. So I'm assuming it's gonna be this one, maybe? Sakuru. Sakuru, Sakuru Ambo Cherry Jelly. At least I think it is. I'm assuming. I wonder, does it have a cherry in it? Probably. Uh oh. It's not how you're supposed to open it. Oh, it's probably spark. Ugh. Aha. It is. It is. Oh no. Don't drip all over the place. There that is. You can see the cherry in it. I probably should. Jelly. Nice. And a raw cherry in it. Oh, that's great. Um, maybe I should take a bite. not bad. It doesn't have a lot of sugar, which is good. It's like natural jelly. I'll save that cherry for last. <laughs> um, okay. Not bad. I'll leave it in. I'll leave this in here with all the paper. Okay. 
Now for the sesame, what is it? Black sesame caramel. 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 I normally say caramel. Um. Oh God. Oh. That's black. Don't look at the pen marks. Um. Here that is. Nothing's inside. I'm getting a taste, a hint of peanut butter. Which tastes really good. That's the sesame. Go. Okay. Not bad. That was good. Um, I think my fave... It's, no it's always going to be the senbai. Not always. Normally I prefer mochi, but I really love senbai. I would say that was my favorite. It was a pretty good box because they gave me these huge Cheetos. I love these. Um, I love red bean paste, but I think I like it just in mochi, not wafer, mochi, and then red bean. But it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Camera stopped. Um, and I love this senbai. That was good. And the melon. The whole box was pretty good. I think this was my least fave, maybe. Maybe. Because that sesame caramel was actually pretty good. I thought it would be bad, but no, it was decent. So that's it for September. I'm trying to debate whether I should get more cultural boxes because I really do love that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff I'm, that I'm into. Um, so hopefully I can find something different. Um, I don't know. Trying to expand. Uh, as always, this stuff only shows on YouTube. Again, Forever Misinterpreted. Forever Miss Faves. That's the name of the title or channel my title it's my title whatever I don't know what I'm talking about anyways I don't put this stuff on Instagram this may be showing on some other YouTube channel but you know it's it it's it's you know it's a work in progress I'll figure it out I'll figure out a way to make sure my stuff is my stuff and not somebody just uploading it any anywhere that they want to um so I'll put in the description snacku information. My Instagram is at forever misinterpreted. It's privated. Eventually I'll open it. Maybe. I don't know. Instagram has also been acting cray. Um, so yeah, that is it for the September snacku box.